As Toledo was inspired by Silvana's performance, he was loving every moment. He said he wanted to be on the chair assignment there, <laughs> but he's got a final to work out against the surfer who happens to be in the most form this year, world number one. Jordy Smith looking for his third win at Lower Trestles in his career. Yeah, well, so fine Lewis. É muito crawl todos os dias, mas é onda que parece um skate pra gente, uma pista de skate. E é isso, gente. Eu acho que o Brasil tá em festa aí. Obrigado a todo mundo que tá torcendo. Filipinho tá na água também. Nossa vibe da gente tava super boa aqui. Foi o que aconteceu, ganhei. Currently on the top 17. During the added interview, she mentioned this man's name, Felipe Toledo, because he got this final started pass. Yes, he did, in a big way. Toledo going to the air, but then just not finishing off that next maneuver. We kind of knew that he was saving his airs for, for this final. You know, it's, he's going to let it all hang out. We're going to see quite possibly the best performance from Felipe Toledo and generally, Joe. I give the advantage to Geordie when it comes to competing. Here's Felipe on a less than perfect way, but let's see what he does. Thank you, BL. Just a float to start for Toledo, but he's got more on the inside. A solid projection snap and a beautiful dagger on the open face. All his talent just to give himself this kind of opportunity to finish strong on the inside corner. King of variety, king of high performance. Passed it up and Toledo went. I'll take that and I'll turn it into a, a nice little score. Transition over that flat part of the wave and look at that. I mean, such a tight little pocket and uh, Felipe unloads some big maneuvers. I was waiting for a little air at the end here, but didn't do it. I like that. I like the fact he was okay. I've got to put two scores on the board. Started winning the Hurley Pro here at Lower Trestles. Now back to action with Toledo going left. His third wave in the making in the final. Blow tail in the second effort. Carving the inside corner as Jordy gets started. Smith up and out, so still just Toledo through the inside as he throws a big fan to the sky. And another solid finishing move. Trying to better a 4-6-7. So that 9-1-1 it could turn into a bit of a combo. Let's have a look. Beautiful opening maneuver. And again, showing some variety, letting that board slide. Keeping those turns real tight in the pocket, not going too far out on the open face. That is a difficult thing to do when there's no power in the way, but Toledo, so light on his feet, yet so powerful. Finishes off nicely, a little bit of a fist pump, you're starting to feel it. As you see Toledo spinning. And Jordy not interested, so late decision. Again, under priority, Toledo winding up. Front side float, takes that back foot off. Just to style his way through. Now he's jamming down the line. Speed float into a vertical climb. Setting up the rotator. Front side air reverse. Jordy's got to answer now. Big float from the South African. Front side wrap into a finish. And a very important finishing move. He'll ride out. I don't know, I'm calling it, calling it tap dancing on the aqua dance <laughs> floor. What do you well, think let, about that? Well, let's have a look. I thought he was taking off on a closeout. Let's have a look. Here it is there. A little bit of a a bit of footwork out on the open face. So nothing too crazy up until now. And then this is the finish on it. He's going to need something good just to get a, uh, that 5.23 out of his scoreline. Let's have a look at the footwork here from Felipe Toledo. Up on the lip. A little bit of a kick right there. Back on the pad. He's having a bit of fun, isn't he? Why not? <laughs> Might as well. I loved it. Jordy Smith. This is his opening wave, connects with the lip beautifully. Bangs it up through the lip again. This turn here is where all the points are going to come from. That's better from Smith and then finishes with that combo. Welcome back to the Hurley Pro final. Felipe Toledo setting the mark here in the lead. Last score, 7-6-7. Seven, seven. He's up again. Front side jam right on the open face. Throwing the rotator on the inside. Both game plans working beautifully. How'd you like Toledo's last? Yeah, well, you know, smaller inside wave. I think Felipe's got to slow down and maybe look for those bigger set waves. Beautiful finish, though. I mean, no one could have surfed that wave as good as Felipe Toledo, but unfortunately, by the looks of scores coming through, that's not going to go into his top two. Beautiful maneuver. I mean, look at that snap, the body, the language that goes into it. And then to come out with the speed that he's got into that vertical maneuver, and then comboed it up with this air revert. I mean, 6.87. Still holding down the 767 and an 8, Geordie with a 9. And, uh, well, 
They let someone drop an eight when it's on their watch. This is the nine point ride again. Yeah, first turn from Jordy. Maybe nervous moments up and over the top there. This turn here is where all the points come from. And then into that combo. Nine points, wow. This, I think all, most of the points came from this maneuver. This is what we've been waiting for from Jordy Smith. For him to just open up and do some massive hacking maneuvers. That's exactly what he did. There's a little peak that just popped up. Now we're into the countdown. Can he get up in time? Jordy does make this count. Means a 6.67 and Jordy goes down. Felipe Toledo is the Hurley Pro champion in 2017. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, well, you know, even with those two wins, Joe, he's got a lot of work to do coming into the back part of this year, but Toledo is your champion. 27, 2017 Hurley Pro trestles. What a heat, what a day, what a competition. But a worthy champion. Either way, you slice it or dice it, this kid was destined to win this event.